guys, Adam Painter with the Sig Sauer Academy again. I want to talk to you today about transitioning from the long gun, your rifle, to your sidearm, your pistol in most cases, and how that process happens and what to do technically. Uh, but let's start with the why. Why would I want to go from this gun with a whole lot of ammunition, I can get two hands on it, I can reach out there to my sidearm? Well, you know, we, this is talked about in a lot of circles. The most common reason is for when the long gun goes down. So let's say I run out of ammunition with my rifle, or I have a malfunction of some sort, and in most cases, if I had that type of situation, transitioning to my sidearm may in fact be quicker than trying to fix the rifle. There's another consideration there though. If I've got a fair amount of distance, let's say I've got 25 yards or so and I've got a decent amount of cover. If I need to be shooting with my rifle and my rifles goes down, at that distance I probably wouldn't transition to my pistol. I'd probably just seek that cover, go ahead and fix my malfunction or reload if that's the case and get back up on threat with my, uh, with my rifle. However, if we're at fairly close proximity to target, uh, like 5, 10, 15, 20 yards or so, somewhere in that ballpark, it may be advantageous for speed and for survival to just go ahead and immediately transition to my pistol. So I'm going to walk you through that procedure. Now, another example of where I may go from my rifle to my pistol would be in a close quarter situation. Let's say, for instance, as a police officer or military member, I'm clearing or working in a confined space. Maybe I make entry onto a house with my rifle and I've got to clear a closet in a hallway. So I don't have a whole lot of room to work with and I need to open that door myself, perhaps. That may be an example where I may personally go ahead and sling out my rifle, cinch it down, and go ahead and get out my sidearm because of that close proximity, I'm uh, multitasking with my other hand it may be a little bit easier, especially if I don't have a cover officer or somebody working with me. So that'd be another example of when I'd possibly transition. So let's kind of break this down on how to do it, and then I'm going to set you up how to do it actually as a live fire drill. Right now I've got a clear and safe pistol and a clear and safe rifle. I'm just going to kind of demonstrate for you on camera kind of the procedure, how I'd go through. So let's say that I'm shooting my rifle, and for whatever reason I want to transition to my pistol. And let's call this one of those emergency situations where I've either run out of ammunition ammunition or I have a malfunction. So I want to fairly quickly go ahead and go to my sidearm. So let's say I had a magazine in the gun and I ran out of ammunition. So we'll say empty mag, open bolt, and of course I'm firing so the gun's going to be on fire. So that's one of the first things we're going to talk about. So I'm up on target and I realize that I'm out of ammunition and I want to immediately transition to my pistol. Now I can go ahead and activate the safety mechanism if it'll allow me to do that. So in this case, since my bolt's locked to the rear, it will allow me to go ahead and put on safe. Not a crucial step, but I do recommend go ahead and throw your rifle on safe. It's always a safe bet. So I'm up on target, I'm firing, I'm going to go ahead and safe my rifle, and I'm going to go ahead and start the transition process at, the, at this point. What I'll do now is I like, there's a lot of different ways to do this, especially with different sling setups, I like to kind of turn the rifle inboard. So this is outboard, how I normally carry my rifle slung up. When I transition, what I'll typically do is simply turn the rifle inboard. So I'll turn the rifle inboard and down with my non-dominant hand as my my dominant hand is reaching for the sidearm and getting it out. So if I kind of take that slow on how that process works, I'm up here, I've been firing, I'm going to go ahead and safe my rifle, bring it down. Simultaneously as I'm bringing this down, I'm going to my sidearm and the sidearm comes out and I'm up on target. When I'm done doing business, back in the holster, back in the holster. And after I'm back in the holster, what I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and try to get my rifle back up to speed. So I just did that transition to my pistol. I'm done with my pistol. Now at this point I want to think about getting my rifle back up loaded again or fix a malfunction. So if I kind of go through that in slow motion or medium type of pace, I'm up here on target, I'm firing, I got nothing, safe my rifle, get my pistol out, deal with what I have to deal with. Once I'm done with that, I'm holstering up, get my rifle back up to speed, lock and loading it, fix the malfunction, whatever it needs to be, and I'm all set. If it's one of those examples where I'm deliberately transitioning because of tight spaces like we talked about earlier, it's basically going to be the same process. However, I'll add one thing to it. And in that case, I will definitely put my gun on safe. It was probably on safe anyway. So if I need to transition purposely to my pistol, I'll go ahead and make sure I'm on safe. And what I'll typically do is the same thing. I'm going to turn my gun inboard, but I'm going to actually bring it around to my back. That way it clears up my whole front body to deal with anything I may need to deal with. And simultaneously, I'm transitioning my pistol, maybe to clear that closet it out that we talked about. So that's an option as well. So I'm going to kind of break this down all into a live fire drill for you right now. 
All right, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through this transition drill, how we practice it out here at the SIG Academy, and one of the techniques. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start by just simply loading up my rifle as normal. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove my good magazine with ammunition in it, and I'm going to go ahead and put in a magazine that's empty. So this way I've got a live round in the chamber, empty magazine in the gun, and the gun's unsafe. So I'm setting myself up to actually run out of ammunition in an emergency reload type of situation. And I've got my sidearm already loaded up. So what you're going to see me do is go through the process of shooting my rifle, realize it's empty, transition to pistol, go back to the rifle to get it loaded and ready to go. So here goes. Let's give it a try. So that's the drill. I went from the rifle to the pistol back to the rifle to make sure it's loaded and fixed and ready to go again. I'm going to do that one more time. This time I'm going to do it with a deliberate transition. So I'm going to go from firing the rifle with no problems, no reload. I'm going to safe my rifle and I'm going to go to my pistol purposely to maybe deal with a tight space type of situation and then back up to the rifle. So this will look a little bit different and I'm definitely working the safety lever when I do it. So here goes. Looks something like this. And that's the drill. Pretty simple. So you can do that a lot of different ways. You could set yourself up with a double feed. For instance, I could use dummy rounds, set up a double feed and do it, which is a great way to do it. Uh, you can practice this with a single point sling. You can practice this putting the rifle behind you like we talked about previously. A lot of different ways you can do it. Biggest advice I got to you as you practice these transitions is try to keep it practical um, and objective based to what makes sense out there. And as you're doing it, Stay nice and safe. Uh, real big fan of that safety lever on this rifle. So anytime you get the opportunity to work your safety lever on your rifle, even with the transition, highly recommended. So if you're looking for a place to try this drill out in your local area, you can visit the NSSF site, wheretoshoot.org, or come out here to the Six Hour Academy in New Hampshire. Until then, be safe, and remember, firearms responsibility lies on you.